twin brother. Jim Madden, let's go. Make him rage quit, exit out the door. Use his favorite team with a Baltimore. Don't get mad, it's just what it is. Yeah, we talking sports, shot out the engraving bins. Yeah, this feels like a dream.
receiver, number 11, Seth Roberts.
complete intended for Fitzgerald in the end zone, defended by Carr. Fourth down.
Bosses the 40 years the third. Peters with us, uh, um, Jackson. Thank you. 
for Fitzgerald. Got much of my voice left right now. Uh, go ahead and introduce yourself. Say what's up to everybody. Hey, what's going on? My name is Ian Hargrove. Good to be on the video. This is engraving the boy celebrity. Okay, what do you say? You want to say what's up? Uh, yeah, they know they know you already, hey, man. man. This is JB Smooth. Come to the game with the Green and I'm glad you got the win, bro. Yeah, man. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Can I reach him back here? Oh, I can reach him back there. Let me get Hey, yo, what up? John Moore, you here with Green Bay. Team, keep it clean, baby. Hopefully they can hear you, man. Oh, they can't? I don't know. I see. But anyway, I'll start over. Like I said, John Moore. Here with Green Bay. Team, keep it clean, baby. Well, y'all should know me. Y'all see them hundred dollar bills just go across the street. Y'all know that. Come on now. But today was a good win. It was yeah, ugly man. though, but defense got a lot of work to do. But uh, my, my favorite part about the game is that you want to say what's up to? Oh, you on the phone, man? Keyshawn? You want to come through? Yeah, man. What's going on, team? Keep it clean. It's engraving bids. Just got done with a Ravens win. It was amazing. I was about to press my bag. Yeah, thank you. Yo, team, keep it clean. Subscribe, share, do what you got to do. This guy's the truth. Appreciate it, man. All right. Yeah, and in this game that we just watched, man, um, Lamar, starting off with Lamar, he, he did his thing. He was he was solid. He wasn't great, but he definitely wasn't bad. And um, he we, we got to see that consistency from him as a passer. He wasn't, uh, the, the, for the passes that he missed, for the overthrows and stuff like that, um, he, uh, he, he had a few overthrows, but he ain't throwing no, like, lame ducks. He ain't have no throws, but you were like, man, who's this dude throwing to? Um, and he, he, he had a he had a pretty good game. I thought he was gonna throw for like four touchdowns, but yeah, he ended up throwing for four. He ended up throwing for two. And they in this game, one thing that I noticed from him, you can come through if you want to, man. Come through and say what's up, man. How you doing, team? Keep it clean. Here with my man, Tim Graven. Appreciate you. We're finally linking up with you, man. Oh man, these things, the wind's blowing. But uh, yeah, Lamar, he um. 
with the, with the Ravens, with, with their offense in this game, um, they, they had a lot of drives where they started. Uh, they started, but they didn't finish. And that was the that was the biggest problem that I felt was with their offense in this game. Um, they, they started, but they ain't finished. And so it's just something to build on. Every game ain't going to be perfect. Every game ain't going to be great. Every game ain't going to be as good as the Dolphins game was. Yeah, man, they, they, they played a pretty good game overall. Uh, defense, defense, um, well, just to go back and forth. Defense, they, with Larry Fitzgerald, was like wide open all game. Defense, they, it was weird because with the short passes, they were they were on it with the short passes. They were they were like pretty sound about the short passes and stopping those. But for the deep balls, man, for the deep balls, they just they kept giving them up over and over and over and over and over. They kept they kept giving up the corners enough plays to keep them in the game, and they it, 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 it was frustrating because you, you know what this defense is capable of, and to see them do that on a consistent basis throughout the game, it was ugly. But um. Anthony Avery, uh, his first game fully started. Well, I mean, pretty much last game he started the whole game, but um, he definitely was a liability today. Uh, Brandon Carr early on was a liability, but he tightened up fast. Uh, but Anthony Avery, he was getting picked on pretty much throughout the game, um, and he was giving up. He was giving up a lot of plays, man. Uh, but that's something for him to work on. I know a lot of people didn't really have that much faith in Anthony Carr. I mean, Anthony, not Anthony Carr, Anthony Avery. Um, and he, yeah, I, I thought he was going to do good this game, but he, um, he didn't deliver. Not like he played bad all game, but he, for a lot of, throughout this game, he, um, he, he gave up a lot of plays. Well, somebody here with a Patriots jersey on. But, but anyway, um, he, he can't go nowhere but up from here. Um, but he was going up against some tough, tough opponents. Um, Fitzgerald, oh, Fitzgerald, man, Fitzgerald's a dog, man. They lined him up everywhere. They lined him up on the outside. They lined him up in the slot. Fitzgerald was just doing Fitzgerald things, and Fitzgerald is such a smart player. Um, and there was one play, my favorite play from Fitzgerald was when um, he, he caught a deep pass, and uh, he caught a deep pass, and then he had went down. He had, like, fell down while he caught it, but immediately he had rose back up, and he got even more yards, and because ain't nobody touched him. So it wasn't no point in him staying down on the ground, so he was a smart man. That's how you could tell somebody done been around and they done done that thing. So shout out to Fitz. Um, who else? Oh, but Kyler Murray, man. I can't forget about Kyler Murray because Kyler Murray, he he was great, man. He, 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 he was great in this game. No, great, but he he did his thing. It, it was a nice little, um, we saw a little a little piece of him last week uh, against the Lions, how they were down, not crazy big, but they were down by multiple scores. And what happened? He led them right back. Uh, the defense, they made enough plays to keep them in the game. Uh, and the same thing happened here. They were down, and then the defense made enough plays. And then, except for that, toward the end, I felt like the refs were like okie dokie and stuff because uh, there was a pass interference on Hollywood Brown where well, it should have been pass interference, and then a uh, hardball challenge it at the last second. But the refs didn't overturn it. It is what it is, though. And then, um, and that would have been a first down, but it ended up giving the Cardinals the ball back. It was um, on one of the Cardinals' last drives, uh, Kyler Murray had, it was an intentional grounded because he didn't throw it to any receiver, he threw it straight to the ground. Um, but the ref said that number 13 was in the vicinity. Then they, showed, then, they showed, then they showed the replay and number 13 was nowhere to be found. Um, but, I mean, regardless, Kyler Murray still did his thing. Um, he, to see what he did against this defense, and yeah, they, they downed Jimmy Smith or whatever, but still, it is a good defense even without Jimmy Smith. Jimmy Smith makes them better, but it's, it's still a good defense nonetheless. But um, you got you got to see, uh, he's he gonna, he gonna be special, man. He's gonna be special. And it, the, the thing that I was concerned about in this game, uh, we did see a good amount of it, and that was with uh, with the pass rush not closing. Because uh, the pass rush, and, and I kind of expected that because um, they, they weren't closing against, and they, they did get to him a few times and got some sacks, but they, they didn't close enough, and they, um, with the pass rush, he was escaping, moving out of the pocket and whatnot. And when he would move out of the pocket, uh, no, nah, you're good, man. When he would move out of the pocket, uh, oh, y'all yeah, gotta take a picture. No, you wanna take a picture? Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Come on, let's take this picture. Uh, I had somebody that kind of took my spot, but um, I forgot what we were talking about. But yeah, Kyler Murray, he's gonna be special, man. He's gonna be a special player for the uh, for the Cardinals. Cause we got to see a little piece of that last week against the Lions. How um, he don't he don't never give up. Man. Still, he, 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 he don't he don't never give up, and he uh he just keep he keep putting his team in positions uh to to, to win not even or to win the game and to not lose. And with Kyler Murray, 
um, was something that both him and Lamar Jackson both were doing throughout this game. Um, they were making they were making plays. Um, they, they were making plays to help their team win, and they, they, were, they were not losing the game for their teams, should I say, man. They weren't losing, the, they didn't throw any like bad throw, or Lamar threw one that um, I, I see why he threw it. Uh, it was a risky throw, but he put it in a spot where uh, I get no, no Cardinals got to it, man. But it was just a little bit short. Um, and I think maybe what it, what it looked like, what it seemed like is that maybe he might have second-guessed himself like at the last second. Um, it was on a pass that would have been it would have either been a touchdown or it would have been like a, uh, it would have been, he would have caught it on like the two yard line. I think it was intended for uh, Nick Boyer, but he threw the ball and it was a little bit short and Nick Boyer had to kind of like reach back and there were like three, maybe four, but definitely three Cardinals defenders around there. And, um, but it ended up going a little bit short, man. Um, but yeah, both him and Kyler Murray, they, did, they didn't do anything to lose the game. Um, the, the one fumble, I don't know if they're gonna put that on Lamar, cause I think they probably will, but the, there was one fumble in this game. Um, it wasn't his fault though, it was uh, Matt Scorer had snapped the ball and he snapped it early though while they had somebody in motion and he snapped it and it, and it hit the <laughs> he snapped it and it hit the person that was in motion. Um, but I think y Yonder, well, Yonder ended up picking up the ball. Man. Um, in this game, the running game, um, as well for the running backs, um, they didn't get to really get off like that, especially like like they or like Mark Ingram did last game. They didn't really get to go off, but Mark Andrews, another Mark, he went off. Um, he had over 100 yards again. Lamar Jackson, uh, he passed for over 250 and ran for like 122, I think. Um, so he did his thing. Uh, so that was a good game for him, uh, and, and it showed. It showed today. He got to really show the the true dual threat. Um, so if you are stop, or not even stopping, but slowing down one thing, um, then he got another weapon that he could hit you with, and that's his legs, man. Because um, he, early on in this game too, they they were doing a good a good amount of running plays and stuff. Uh, Lamar was doing a good amount of running plays, and you want to say something? Yeah, if you want to, man. Talk about, talk about the game. The game Monday night, man, with the Jets being down their starting quarterback against the Browns. I, I hope I hope Trevor Simeon pulls something off. I hope he pulls something crazy off, man. Don't get on it. Not expecting him to, but I'm hoping that he does. I'm about to get Could Le'Veon be enough? Oh, that's a good point, man. Cause he, I think he's Le Le Le'Veon gonna make Trevor, Trevor Simeon better, but but no CJ Mosley. Yeah. No, no, no Quentin Williams. That CJ Mosley, that, that 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 hurts them bad. Yeah, dude. Cause that dude. might. That's where I was at. I'm about yeah, to he get might have been that best defensive statue. player last week. Yeah, definitely but, was making noise. I'm about to go to the top that, that, statue that's so y'all can see. I mean, that's gonna hurt them a lot, man. Help the Browns win. Yeah. So the Browns don't go against their starting inside linebacker. I think the Browns gonna win, but hopefully the Browns don't win. But I think they gonna win, but they yeah, they they got a lot on their side. Man. Hopefully they play like the Browns. Who, who, Mess it up. Who, who is your favorite player today? I would say. Wow. Probably the last one, the Hollywood. Oh, it was, yeah. Even though it wasn't a big play, but that was crucial. No, that was a huge end. play. Man. I think it was like 40 yards or something. Yeah, it was. Yeah, that was, was a big play. Man. Definitely won us the game. Cause, yeah, we was a little, little far back, but we probably kicked the field goal one, but still, that closed the game up. Yeah. That's what I like. I think my favorite, um, just my favorite thing about this entire game was that the Ravens, they, they didn't play not to lose, they played to win, and, and you saw that throughout the throughout yeah. the entire game with the play call, especially in the fourth quarter, man. Yeah. Because it, it's, it's kind of weird that, um, because we so used to, as Ravens fans, we so used to, um, toward the end of games or whatever, so used to being like, man, why they calling this, why they calling yeah. that? And they get so so conservative, but they they ran the ball and they got got a good mix of passing in there too. Can I add this? Yeah. Usually towards the end of Raven games, they, they get the ball back. And then we gotta rely on the defense, but not this time. This time, our offense finished the game, and that's why I'm hoping to see more of that in the upcoming games. Yeah, yeah, it, it, it was nice that um, and we we did did leave some points on the field and whatnot, but it was good that um we got to see some consistency from the offense. We got to see, did they have any three and outs? Uh, the Cardinals? No, Ravens. I, I don't remember, but maybe because of, did we I think the last drive before they got oh, the ball back. When he when, when, uh, was close to the safety, yeah. that was great enough. I think he hit maybe two. But the, still, the, the fact that it's that hard to remember, yeah. that, that's a yeah, good that thing. Because um, that, that, <laughs> oh, good. watching Ravens over the years, man, that's, uh, that's big. The fact that the offense consistently 
um, was able to move the ball up and down the field. Yeah, they ain't score every single time, right. but they got to move the ball up and down the field. Oh, I just got a notification that Drew Brees is hurt. Oh, man. Oh, Wanted him to win that game, man. The Vince game from last year. But, oh, that sucks. Man. It happens. Right. It's the worst part about football, man. No, oh. oh, but um. anyway, yeah, man. Ravens, they, they, they did it. They, they closed it out. And they, and they had a, they had a chance to put up more points too, but they didn't end up needing to, and they end up getting being able to run out the clock. Shout out to Terrell Suggs, they did give him that standing ovation like yes. we expected to them to. Um, and yeah, it was cool, man. It was cool. They didn't give Crabtree a standing ovation, but it's all good. Because, yeah, he wasn't gonna get one. Max Williams. Uh, we, yeah, we got to see them familiar faces, and, and they made a couple couple catches. I think Crabtree had maybe like I know he had one catch for sure. Maybe two. Who are you talking about? Michael Crabtree. Yeah, yeah, I think he had like one or two. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah he had one for sure. Ones. Yeah, Max Williams had he had one for sure. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if he I caught any. He is on the Cardinals team. Yeah. Wow. yeah. And um, Terrell Suggs, he had some. I mean, not some sacks and tackles, but that you was. You saw it. the respect between the players when he was on the field too. Yeah. A couple of handshake. That was cool. Yeah, yeah, was cool. yeah. You, you know what? With Terrell Suggs, they had to be like that too. It had to be all respect, man. Even though he went, he went back home to go play for the Cardinals. The Ravens wanted to keep him, but yeah. it's all good. I, I do love how he said um, that it's time for the next group of people to make that, uh, to become that the next big three or the next great uh, team or whatever. That's a momentum builder right there. Yeah. So shout out, shout out to him for saying that and letting Peanut know that back in um, when Terrell Suggs first left. Man. Um, but yeah, that's that, man. Cardinals called a good game. Ravens called a good game. Refs called a terrible one, but yeah. it is what it is. I right? say about they always do that. But it, it's oh. it, uh, yeah, it, it was it was rough. And um, well, my guy uh, Johnny was just telling me he reminded me of um that the the, the three worst calls of this game they all came against uh, Hollywood Brown. Yeah. One was the uh, the yeah. face mask that they didn't call, and it was a clear face mask. Two was the um, when Lamar threw the ball to Hollywood. Um, toward the sideline, Hollywood caught it. There were two Cardinals defenders on him. Yeah, and he at first he went back a little bit, but then he broke off yeah. off both of them. The rest blew it dead. And he wasn't da down yet. And then the third was the pass interference, where the dude jumped jumped into Hollywood before the ball got there. And Harbaugh even challenged it. He waited till the very last second, but he did challenge it. And they didn't even call a uh, they didn't even re reverse it. But here's what it is. I, I'm I'm really glad too though that the. Uh, they, they could have, but they didn't. But the, the Ravens did not let the refs beat them. Yes. And yes. that's uh, that, that's big oh, too, man. So this, this just point. it's just it's just it's kind of weird, but it's refreshing uh, seeing this these new Ravens. And I know it's only been uh, well two games this year, and of course eight games last year. But I think this year the biggest thing that we wanted to see from these Ravens was just consistency, um, better coaching, uh, winning coaching. And just uh, yeah, them them finishing and them playing, them being more aggressive. I love how they went forward on the fourth down early in the game. Um, they yeah, they this this is definitely it's definitely a new era, man. So I'm excited to see how it pans see you out, man. All right, man. Right, man. Appreciate you. See you guys and take it clean. All right, man. Woo. Shout out JB Smooth. I know y'all already know who he is, man. But all right, team, keep it clean. I'm about to get out of here now. Appreciate y'all. See y'all when I see y'all. We out. Quit, exit out the door. Quit, exit out the door. Yeah. You was afraid of team with a Baltimore, huh? Don't get mad. Uh -huh. It's just what it is. It's what it is.